Wholeness, wholeness, wholeness. Happy now, all is now, it's so good to be in the present. Press this on the back end here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now turning into the mind of an algae and moon and horse to be transiting the fifth house. And this is gonna be my continuation on the moon signs, okay? So this is going to be moon in Leo, all right? So let's look, Leo is born from the fifth house. Leo comes from the fifth house. Okay, so Leo is a fixed fire sign. Fixed fire sign. Okay? Fixed fire sign, born from the fifth house. Fifth house, yeah. So, fixated expressions. Okay, so automatically when we're talking about the fire sign, we're talking about seeing. Because the light illuminates. Okay, so, but we're talking about moon. Okay, so this is the moon, right? So, fifth house is dealing with creativity entertainment children self-expression you know some say sexual house okay which is sort of related to the children in a way but on on yeah entertainment what you choose to entertain what you're entertained by and what you yeah entertain you know just entertain you know because well when we hear entertainment you know some people have this uh <clears throat> their perception is more geared towards you know what you know uh these uh Let's say, you know, with me being a triple fire, I filter to through expressions, and what, you know, these beings who run this three D realm have put out for us to, uh, what we perceive to be entertainment. But fifth house, you know, in astrology, you have your own chart for your own, you know areas of life this is why i say what you choose to entertain what you're entertained and what you're entertained by because what's entertaining is what's you as an individual is what you choose to entertain and honestly this is just from my individual perception you know from my individual frequency vibration okay so yeah creativity you know what you choose to entertain what you're entertained by and yeah just how you entertain Children's self-expression, okay? That's what, what this fifth house is dealing with. This is where Leo is born from, okay? So we're not talking about the moon. So Leo moon. So what do we know about the moon? The moon, I like to say, the moon is the female in me. And the sun is the mass male in me. Just the moon, you know, it's known for that watery vibe. Your emotional body, your emotions, okay? And females are more in tune with the emotions in this realm we live in, Okay? So I like to say, yeah, the, the, the moon is like the female in you or the female energy in you, a.k.a. your reactions, a.k.a. your emotional body, a.k.a. your inner world, okay? So with a Leo moon, your reactions are dramatic. Your reactions are seen, okay? Self-expression, okay? So me, I'm a Leo ascendant. I'm a Leo ascendant. You can see my... Dramatic actions. Ascendant is just the energy you're carrying, aka the spirit you're carrying. So I'm, you know, when you see me teaching, I'm moving. This is sort of playing with my chakra right here. You know, moving my bodies of water, moving this waters around type shit. Okay, so that's my ascendant. That's how I come off. I come off as a Leo, right? I look like a Leo, but I'm not a Leo. Okay, so Leo moon, right? Your inner world, okay? is the sun your reactions is is you will see the reactions okay so it's i guess like you say your room moon like it's like your inner world right so when we look into your inner world and what will make you comfortable this is what will make you comfortable is how you want to be seen you will get comfortability through your self-expressions and yeah you will get comfortability through your your express self expressions and if people are seeing you the way you want to be seen okay because the the uh, leos you know automatically just want to see them because their energy signature what is the sun in this reality in this reality the sun is seen you know the most high the most high is seen okay so with the leo moon you get comfortable comfortability through your self expressions filtering your because with your moon, your moon is how you use your sun. Okay, so your moon 
moon is your yin to your yang. Your sun is your yang and your moon is your yin. So with you having a Leo moon, your reactions will be filtered through your sun. Okay, so I've got an Aries moon. Okay? And the light I shed, the sun, the light I shed is Sagittarius. Okay? So I use Aries internally. I'm an Aries internally. The female in me is an Aries. And she uses the male in me, which is Sagittarius. You know? So with the Leo moon, depending on your sun, how you go about showing your expression. But regardless with the Leo moon, your 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 expression. You, you will express yourself dramatically. You will express yourself in a way people, you will attract attention through your reactions. You know, your reactions will attract attention like the sun. Okay? And this is your emotional body. Okay? Your emotional body. You know? So with these, with the Leo moon, you could be perceived as someone who, who is, wants attention. Because with a Leo sun, Leo sun just takes action. Leo sun, sun is your action. Leo suns just take action. And through their actions, people see what they do. And it's, it's, it seem as normal because the sun is home in Leo. So with Leo sun, their actions, you know, however they move in this reality will be seen as creative, will be seen as dramatic and attractive because the sun is home. With the Leo moon, you will be perceived as someone who's who wants attention. Okay? So let's say Leo's son, they not necessarily want that attention, but they know they know how to go up going about getting it. Okay? With a Leo Senate like me, I'm not looking for attention. My son my expressions. A Senate is just how you look and your personality. My personality attracts attention because I look like the Leo. I look like the Sun. Okay? So that's just how it is. My appearance is Leo. I don't mean I'm trying to get attention. Okay, I just look like the sun. Okay? But with the Leo moon, you go about, because you receive with your moon. To manifest something is to receive something. So your moon allows you to receive something. So you want to receive attention with the Leo moon. You go about manifesting you want to manifest attention through your self-expressions and how you see things and what you see internally. Okay, so if people don't see what you see internally, you will not be comfortable with the Leo moon. Okay, so yeah, you can be perceived as attention-seeking with the Leo moon. All right? Uh, yeah, and this is just uh, how it is, you know? Breaking it down like that. Okay? So I want to go ahead and uh, I'll 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 compare, I'll compare with your astrological siblings. Your astrological siblings are just the, you know, the signs that share elements with you. And I basically just done that already because, you know, with the Leo Moon, it's 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 your astrological siblings is. Okay, so you're Leo, fixed fire fixated on expressing okay so like i said the modality of leo is fixed okay the modality so sagittarius this is mutable fire your fixed fire mutable fire cardinal fire and if you draw it it makes the triangle 120 degrees for an astrological 120 degree, the degrees is 120 degrees for a triangle and this is the energies i'm carrying so i'm an aries moon I am a Sagittarius sun and I'm a Leo ascendant. Okay? So 120 degrees in an astrological term is a gift. Okay? So, right there. A oh, fire trine, triple fire trine. Okay? So, with a Leo moon, Leo moon, like I say, the modality is fixed. Okay? So it's fixed, right? So you are fixated, right? Like I say, this is how you can be perceived as attention seeking because you're, the modality of Leo is fixed. You are fixated on expressing yourself as an individual, okay? So you're fixated on burning that fire that's within, bringing that fire that's within, okay? And it's fixed. So imagine 
okay if someone you are with someone and you've got a leon moon right so more than likely with this placement what you will probably go through in your life is people you know perceiving you you know as someone who is not letting them express themselves not letting people actually express themselves because you always want to be seen internally okay so because honestly right with this right here right so honestly the moon is home in cancer the moon is home in cancer okay, which is water the moon is home in cancer which is water okay water sign we're just dealing with the emotions there. Well, Cancer Moon is in tune with the emotions. It will fill out other people's emotions, right? Feeling in the in realm. Water fills internally. Fire, you know, seeds internally. Okay? So you're fixated on pushing out your visions. You're not adaptable, mutable like the Sagittarius. Okay? Your visions and what you see internally is not adaptable like the Sagittarius. No. You don't necessarily initiate new ways on how to see things from your internal realm, okay? You're just fixated on pushing out what you see internally, okay? So people can view that as like, hey, let me actually express myself sometimes. I feel like when I'm around you, I can't actually express me because you're always expressing yourself, you know? You're fixated on expressing yourself internally, expressing what you got internally. And like I said, that's the female in you. The moon is your, your, that's truly you, the part of you that you know best, okay? So if you're just fixated on expressing yourself, other people can perceive you as, you know, either attention seeking or someone who is, uh, you know, not, you know, does not care for their emotions or care to see their side, okay? So like I said, there's a positive and negative to everything, okay? So the positive side is, yeah, the fire that's inside, you're able to bring it out and show people, you know, and you're able to spark people's visions, okay? Internally, you could be a child internally. You could be creative internally. You know, you know how to express yourself in an entertaining type way. Okay, so that's the positive side. You could be entertaining. You know? You know, you could be highly sexual. You know? You could be highly sexual as a Leo moon internally. Okay? So you, you are someone who knows how to entertain things. Okay? You, you know how to entertain things. Okay? So, for example, I... Like, you know how to be entertaining and you know how to entertain things, okay? So like, let's say there is a scenario where, uh, depending on, the, also in my interpretation, depends on the spirit utilizing the energy, okay? Depending on your frequency vibration as an individual spirit. Okay, so let's say there's a fight. If you're a positive spirit with a Leo moon, you, you will entertain that fight by pushing positivity and stopping the negativity if you are a negative spirit you would entertain that fight by jumping into that fight and actually partaking in that fight so you can sort of see how entertaining something the perspective and the perception on entertaining something could be positive and negative okay so yeah first is signing out i'm catching this now this has been my video on moon and leo all right